Are you considering virtual reality for your corporate training program? If so, you may have concerns about some of your learners not wanting to use VR headsets. While it's not common, it does happen. In this video, we'll talk about the three ways your learners can access virtual reality content without using a full VR headset. Hi, my name is Jeff Suchin. And I'm Jack Brubaker, here from Roundtable Learning. If you're watching this video, you're probably considering virtual reality for your training program, which is great. But it's important to plan for all of your learners, even those who may be skeptical about using a virtual reality headset. We work with organizations to create VR training content for all of their employees. If they don't want to use a VR headset, your employees have options such as a cardboard headset, mobile device, or even a desktop monitor. We'll cover all three of those in today's video. Virtual reality opens up a world of possibilities for your learners, but not everyone feels comfortable wearing a VR headset. There are a few reasons that you may need headset alternatives, including concerns about cleanliness, users preferring not to share devices with others, people that are susceptible to motion sickness, scalability across locations, and cost. No matter the reason, it's best practice to have accommodations for all of your learners. Here are three options that we use with our clients to accommodate their workforce, scalability, and logistical needs. A cardboard headset is a more affordable, lightweight, and scalable option over typical VR equipment. These headsets come in at a low price point so they can be easily bought in bulk and scaled across an organization. After launching the VR activity on their smartphone, learners place their phone into the cardboard headset and secure it with Velcro straps. Once placed inside the headset, learners interact with VR content in two ways, gaze interaction and captive touch. Despite the low cost and ease of use, there are limitations to a cardboard headset. The headset material. Since these headsets are made of cardboard, they will not last as long as other more durable materials. Limited to three degrees of freedom, Learners can look around, but cannot physically move within their VR environment. No head strap. Cardboard headsets typically don't come with a head strap, so learners will have to physically hold the headset as they complete their activity. Although there are drawbacks, cardboard headsets are a cost-effective, scalable substitute for learners who want the immersive experience with personal, disposable equipment. If you have learners who aren't comfortable with putting anything up to their face, you can still use VR activity without looking through a headset. With a compatible mobile device, such as a phone or tablet, learners can launch a VR activity and interact with it alongside their peers. Your learners can hold their phone or tablet and physically move side to side and up and down to see the same activity and interactions. Instead of using a handheld controller, learners make selections by simply tapping their screen. There are a few limitations to a mobile VR activity. First, small screen size. Learners are limited to a smaller size of their screen as compared to a fully fledged VR activity. Second, not as immersive. Since you are not using a headset, you are not fully immersed in the VR activity. Third, device supplies. Employees need to use their own device or have their organization issue them one that's compatible with the program. A mobile VR activity is a good fit for learners who don't want to wear any kind of headset and instead would prefer using a phone or tablet to complete an activity that's still interactive. A desktop version of a VR activity is similar to the mobile version, except it's accessed through a computer. A VR activity completed on a desktop doesn't have the same immersive feel as a headset would provide, but learners are still able to access the same training content as their peers. A link to the VR activity can be hosted online, through an LMS, or sent through email to the user. When the user accesses the activity, they can look around the environment by clicking and dragging their mouse from side to side and up or down. They can also participate in the activity by clicking the on-screen options to work through the learning objectives. The desktop version of a VR activity comes with its own drawbacks. Not as immersive. Learners aren't as immersed in the environment as they normally would be with a full-fledged VR headset. Limited functionality. Learners are limited to the functionality of their device and can only interact through their mouse and keyboard. Compatibility issues. Depending on the complexity of the VR experience, 
Some devices may not have the capability to run the activity and respond to the learner's selections in a timely manner. A desktop version of a VR activity is a great option for organizations who need an accessible option that's scalable, convenient, and comfortable for office-based learners. A virtual reality training program is a great way to incorporate hands-on active learning at your organization. With our three alternatives to a VR headset, you can ensure that each of your learners is comfortable participating in VR activities. For the full article and to get started with your VR training program, visit roundtablelearning.com. The link is in the description below. If you have any questions, reach out to us anytime and make sure to like this video and subscribe for all things training and development.